we need to know that we have people in our country and in the world who stand for something and who stand up for the people and who stand up for the planet. And if they're persecuted in the way that Julian Assange is being persecuted, we may never know. I mean, our, our children won't even know that there was someone who said, hey, you should not uh, shoot anyone from a helicopter, and especially people who are not bothering you. I mean, they won't know. Uh, in the same way that we have lost so many wonderful people. I mean, how many people know anything about John Brown, for instance, you know, this great abolitionist who died for fighting for black people, for our freedom. They hide these people from us in this very way that they're doing with Julian Assange. They just lock them away, they kill them. Julian Assange is not in the potential of being tortured. He has been tortured for, I could really say, for about eight years now, but in particular for the last 18 months, kept in a cell in isolation in a terrorist, a prison for terrorists here for telling the truth, at a time when he had, in the Ecuadorian embassy, already was suffering from severe pains in his shoulder, from terrible dental problems, which could not be dealt with in the Ecuadorian embassy, and the British would not give him any assurance that he would not be extradited to the United States if he left there to get dental care. I'm not aware that he's gotten uh, the care that he needs even now that he's in, in British custody all this time. So he is being tortured for that. And who are we to let this happen? Who are we? Who are we to let this happen, really? You know, um, so we need to press on, you know, all the people who awaken to the condition that Julian Assange is, is suffering under and his family. I am especially concerned about his family. This is just a wrong, it's an evil. And we have the power to change it. It takes waking up and it takes acting, that's all.